Hello guys, welcome back to another video from the e-innovators. Today we are going to start the project series as the pandemic situation in the world project. We are unable to arrange the hardware so we decided to make your quarantine productive and start a series on different simulators. For this video we'll be using Tinkercad. We have also made a video before on Tinkercad. To find that you guys can click on the link in the description below or on the top right corner i button. The first project we are going to make is a keypad security lock with changeable codes. Firstly, we'll discuss how to interface keypad with Arduino. After that, how to interact with servo and why we use EEPROM. And at last, we will discuss how to make this project on Tinkercad. First of all, let's discuss how to program the keypad with Arduino. Let's see the circuit diagram of the keypad 4x4 means there are four rows and four columns. You can observe that there are arrays of switches. For instance, if you press switch of one, this will close the switch between a column and a row. This will allow current to flow between a column pin and a row pin. And in this manner, the Arduino will know which key is being pressed. Now the next step is to download the library for the keypad. To do so, we have to go to the link which has been given in the description below we have to download the keypad.zip file from there. Let's download the programming of the keypad by downloading the keypad library. Then you have to include the library keypad.edge and you have to tell the Arduino the size of your keypad which is in our case 4x4. Constant byte is the data type. Here you can see row equal to 4 and column is equal to 4. This part shows the structure of our keypad. It is the second array with the data type character. Then we have to define the pins of the Arduino where we have connected this row and column. From pin 9 to pin 6 we have connected the row and from pin 5 to pin 2 we have connected the column. At last we have initialized the keypad. In setup part we have just initialized serial monitor. In loop function, custom key is the variable with data type character. Get key function will return the key which has been pressed. You have to include the library. For this you have to go to sketch, then include library and then add zip library. Just go to the directory where you have downloaded it. We have already included the library so it's showing an error in the message. Then verify the code and switch our screen to Tinkercad. Select Arduino and keypad from the search bar. First we have rows. Row 1 is connected with Arduino pin D8. Row 2 is connected with Arduino pin D7. Row 3 is connected with Arduino pin 6. Row 4 is connected with pin D5. Now we have the column part. Column 1 is connected with D4. Column 2 is connected with D3. Column 3 is connected with pin D2. Column 4 is connected with pin D1. Now you need to upload the code by clicking on the code option on Tinkercad. And start the simulation. We can see any number we press on our keypad is on the serial monitor. So let's talk about what is a servo motor. A servo motor is a rotatory actuator or a linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position, velocity and acceleration. Let's see what components we need to test the servo. First we need a 10k potentiometer and a servo motor. To program the servo, we need to include the library servo.h which is built in the Arduino IDE. The other one is servo my servo. Then we will have to initialize the potentiometer 
and in value we will store the reading of the analog output. In the setup part, we tell the Arduino where we have attached the servo in our case. We have attached it on pin number 9. In the loop function, we have to store the value of the analog reading. You can find out more about that in our video on the analog and the digital input readings in the top right corner on the i button. As you know, the analog pin has the value from 0 to 1023 as the server works on angles. So we use map to convert the analog input into angles. And at last, write function move the servo at the angle which has been tell by the user. Let's program the servo motor in the Tinkercad. Let's get started. First copy the code from the Arduino and switch our window to Tinkercad where we need an Arduino, a potentiometer and a servo motor. In potentiometer we can select any terminal from positive or negative but these are corner terminals. So connect those terminals to 5 volts and ground pins of Arduino respectively and you can change the color as you want. Middle of the potentiometer is connected to A0 of the Arduino pin. Connect the ground of servo to ground pin of Arduino and power of servo to 5 volts pin of Arduino. Connect the signal pin to pin D9 on Arduino. Now paste the code from Arduino and after simulation you can see whether the servo motor is working or not. If you want to see the angles of the servo motor, so you can see it on the serial monitor. For this, Firstly, you need to enable the serial monitor by serial.begin bracket 9000 bracket closed and write it under setup part. And secondly, you need to write serial.print and bracket well, bracket under loop part, it will give the value of the character val. By start simulation, you can see the angle of the servo motor. And by the way, val means value, V-A-L. Now let's jump into the programming of our project. First of all, see the flowchart of our project. Initialize Arduino with P at the standby mode and ask the user to enter the code. If user press steric, so it will ask for a code after reading the code. If the code is correct, so it will open the door and move the servo motor. And if it is not correct, so it will go to the standby mode. If we press the hash again, so it will ask for the code after reading the code. If the code is not correct, so it will go to the standby mode. And if it is correct, so it will ask the user to type new password and retype new password. It will compare the both of the passwords or the codes. If they are incorrect, so it will go to the standby mode. And if it is correct, so it will change the code and then go to the standby mode. For the programming, first we have to include 4 libraries for our project. We will use keypad.h, 
servo.h, eprom.h, and liquidcrystal-i2c.h. Let's see what eprom does. To save the previous code onto the Arduino, we will be using eprom. EEPROM stands for Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. It is built-in memory into the Arduino, which is non-volatile, which means the data does not get erased once the Arduino board have power loss. In this project, we will be using it to save the password. Let's start with the steps. We have initialized the button. We have variable code to save our code. Here we have created two variables, check1 and check2 to compare the user have written right or wrong key. Some variables to use later. And initialize keypad and servo. Let's discuss the setup part of program. We have initialized the LCD. Then we have print LED standby. Configure the button pin as the input pin. We will use the button pin to close the door. This is the pin number of Arduino at which servo is attached. Initially, we give the servo to stay at angle 0. And this is only done when we will first save the password at EEPROM. Before discussing the loop part, let's discuss read code function in the keypad. We can only get single characters to type the word. We have to use while loop. Let's discuss. This while loop does not stop until we press A. Basically, this while loop stores the password and displays as static on its behalf. And second, if loop, see whether the code section is same or not. If same, it will increment and if not, it will decrement. Let's discuss the get new code one part. Here we are initializing two characters. This part is just to use or for the print command on LCD. This while part has discussed before. Only one thing is added, which is check1, where we store every variable of the password in the form of an array. In get new code2, we are discussing the same thing with another variable check2. These two variables are used to verify two passwords stored in the keypad. Now we have the open door option. This part belongs to the server motor. For this part, you can just go according to your will. We are going to make it as simple as possible and print on the LCD welcome and rotate the servo at 90 degrees. Let's move toward the change code part. Here LCD asks for old password. If password is correct, it will enter into this loop or the if loop, I would be precise on that. Otherwise, it will enter into the else loop, where it will clear the screen and print wrong. In if loop, here we call get new code 1 and get new code 2 for the new password and retype new password. Then it will match the passwords. If both the passwords are equal, then it will send it into the EEPROM else it will give output that passwords are not matching. We do not have 16 by 2 I2C LCD available on Tinkercad, so we needed to import that. And for that, there is a link in the description below which will direct you towards how you are going to get the I2C LCD on Tinkercad. At this page, by clicking on Copy and Tinker, you can import your I2C LCD. So here we are getting into the circuit building. In simulation, make sure you must connect with Arduino UNO and also leave this long coding. Only the user code is enabled. By start simulation, we can see the output displaying on our LCD. Here we are just doing the connections we have discussed before. There's nothing different.
Last but not the least, it's time to get things together. Verify the code. Make sure in the simulation you have Arduino UNO. Paste the Arduino code into the user code part in the Tinkercad simulation and you're good to go. All the links we've used in this video are on GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Feel free to access and try making this project at your home. So that's it for today guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe our channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Guys, as you can see, we are doing our, a lot of effort just for you guys. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please like the video as well. We have just hit the 200 subscriber mark, but our aim is for 1,000, 10,000, 1 million. So we need your support. We need your uh, encouragement. So please encourage our hard work. Thanks a lot. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.